We're going to you live here from Heart House at U of T for City Hall live in the quad. It's live from last week episode 188. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So last night after our beach volleyball session, where the wife actually surprised me buying these brand new sunglasses for me, after the unfortunate event that happened to me just last week, we had dropped off Giselle at her place before checking out the one, the only too good to go app. Seeing this offered at a decent price, going to the Fusion restaurant, and getting back to the condo to enjoy these delicious too good to go dishes that we had actually got for under $15 in total. But yeah guys, on to today, after getting a total of less than five and a half hours of sleep, I drove the wife to her day shift in the morning with my aforementioned new sunglasses before realizing that the mini hit this milestone. But yeah, throwing back to this episode in the past, I went to meet up with my buddy Cammy who of course made the showcase of an entrance when I saw him. We then visited a mall that we haven't stopped by in a while, visiting Woodside Square here in Scarborough to both check out and ride some animals that they have on display here, as well as check out the Cebu Play where I've bought stuff in the past on one of their last store closing day sales that they have at this mall. And afterwards, just like we've done in previous visits, we did this tradition of visiting the morning cafe at Midland and Finch to buy yet another one of my favorites. They're jumbo sized bubble teas that they have while catching up on life with Cammy. Then, after taking our patented video of us leaving the morning cafe, we headed up north to the Timber Creek Golf Center to try our hand at a little bit of driving range golfing practice. And after stretching for a little bit, as well as shaking off the rust from a couple of our practice swings, we eventually got into the quote-unquote swing of things with Cammy over here blasting bombs from the driving range as if it was no problem at all. And after chilling back with my bubble tea in hand, watching this guy launch rockets off the tee, as well as hitting some balls and working on my form a little bit, I'm currently downtown right now to pick up the wife from work and to wrap up a pretty eventful day that I had already. So getting in less than six hours of sleep last night, I had pretty much stayed in all day before going with the wife to a place where she's an alumni, coming back to U of T at the University of Toronto St. George campus to a place called Heart House to check out with both the wife and Giselle an event called City Hall Live in the Quad a free outdoor concert series put on by local musicians such as Jordan Hart and Emily Schultz and this brass music group called Big Smoke Brass. I was also able to check out locations here that I've only seen in magazines. 
Guys, I'm in Hogwarts! <laughs> Where's Hagrid? Where's Hagrid? Where's the sorting hat? <laughs> Anyways, before I go and enjoy some more free live music at this venue, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering from my holy trinity days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Danny. Happy birthday, Danny. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So after leaving you guys yesterday and enjoying more of Big Smoke Brass's live music performance, in the room where I was shooting my segment, I saw this secret tower staircase in the background where I was able to take a couple of pictures and some videos from this not very well known location. I then took an evening walk with these two U of T alumni who were seen reminiscing about their times here. Coming back to this recently renovated area for the first time in several years. Then afterwards for dinner, we headed to the Koreatown on Glor to this restaurant to have this amazingly delicious assortment of Korean food together before our night was done. Then after parting ways, the wife and I got a summer special that we took advantage of not too long ago and got ourselves another $1 McDonald's summer ice cream cone on our way home. Anyways guys, on to today, where I spent the majority of the day editing live from last week episode 187 for tomorrow morning's release. I'm just taking it easy before I go in for one single night shift tonight. And I'll just resume this episode with you guys again tomorrow. So, starting off today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my coworkers who I always seem to spend New Year's Eve with every year at work. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kim. Happy birthday, Kim. Next up, we got a birthday greeting to one of the main leaders of the ICU Brotherhood who has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, He-Man. Happy birthday, He-Man. We too have a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I know through my sister partying with him during my days at Neo Wysick. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to another one of my coworkers who has a doggo that I want to meet sometime in the near future. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Antonia. Happy birthday, Antonia. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways guys, speaking of work, after a decent shift, but once again getting really busy around shift change time, I had a secret weapon that helped me cope with my stress, and that was this Chupa Chup lollipop that I was able to enjoy. Not just right after my shift at the hospital, but like previous times with treats in the past, I had gotten to enjoy this baby in the mini. And once that single treat was done, fortunately guys, I had another backup one to have, being all happy and such. I also had decided to make a quick pit stop this morning, going to the cemetery to do my monthly visit to my Lola V. Hey Lola, it's JJ coming here post night shift to say hi to you on my monthly visit. Continue to pray for us and look over us in our everyday lives. And I just wanted to say we think about you still Lola, we miss you and we love you. Bye for now Lola. Then guys, after taking a quick post-night shift nap of only one and a half hours, I woke up to catch the opening ceremonies of the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics, where there were several different and very interesting performances, including a unique new walkout for the several different countries, cruising in teams on boats along the Seine, 
including athletes from both Canada, along with my parents' country, the Philippines, as well as many cameos for the hot air balloon Olympic torch relay slash lighting ceremony, including a surprise performance by the icon Celine herself. And after this event was finished on TV, I drove the wife to her night shift at the hospital, then started to roam around the downtown Toronto and Chinatown areas, looking at my Too Good To Go app to see what exactly to have for dinner tonight, and ordered from a place that I usually frequent while in Scarborough, but this time finding their location here on College in downtown Toronto, getting a surprise bag for seven bucks from Tag Puai. Now guys, upon opening this particular surprise bag, I was treated to several ulams including tofu and this box full of sweet and sour fried chicken along with some beef steak. But yeah, on to tonight where I'm about to meet up with the cousin Lou to go to Queen Street West to attend a wrestling event that we went to together a couple months back to check out this month's Super Kicked event called Super Kicked Straight to the Bank. Guys, what another fun time at the super kicked event that I had last night with my cousin Lou. Where we had some of these being some of my favorite highlights. Anyways, after getting home and only being able to sleep for about six hours, inspired by the coworker Ruby who asked me what I do as a house husband while the wife is at work, I got up to do some dishes, start to prep some food, and cook some delicious eggs and top silog dishes for the wife, as she let me know that she was staying for an extra four hours for a 16 hour shift today. So running to my local GO station with my food in my hand, just barely making my GO train as it arrived to the station, sweating absolute buckets on my commute, I got my bound delivery to downtown Toronto, passed through the landmark of Nathan Phillips Square, and surprised the wife here as a delivery person with the package of food that I had brought in her and most importantly the yolk of the fried egg still intact. I then drove the wife to Saga 
taking the root of the race that I checked out with Tito Eddie and Tita Mone just last week. Driving the Lakeshore Boulevard portion of the Toronto Indy. Getting to the Saga House to chill with the puppy Sesame. And catch the first day of action from the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics. And this included watching some of the events from the swim meets, some rugby sevens matches, as well as a couple of highlights from the Olympic basketball games. I also got to witness the first 2024 Summer Olympic medal won by a Canadian, with swimmer Summer McIntosh taking home her first of hopefully many medals in these Olympic games. And guys, in the middle of all this, after dropping her off at the exact same location several weeks ago, I picked up the sister-in-law from her go bus coming from Waterloo earlier. Then after seeing this sign at the side of the road, we stopped by my first BK in a long while, choosing here with her to our Whoppers and our chicken sandwiches. Next, to add to my already busy Saturday, after hearing of a free hat giveaway at the Argos game tonight, I went to the Port Credit GO station to catch the GO train from there and line up in this line that was just outside of the stadium to get my brand new Argos hat giveaway. And once I got into the stadium, I appreciated the fact that you can catch some pre-game Argos action if you get there early enough. Watching the players warm up here. In addition to checking out the pre-game festivities that they had today. Of which this evening reminded me of the experience that I had at the Caribbean Festival on the exhibition grounds just last year. Being here for the Toronto Argonauts Afro-Caribbean Culture Night. It's a video. It's a video. <laughs> it didn't tell nobody. <laughs> but anyways, before moving on with more details of this busy day, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my nephews out there who has made several upon several cameos in previous Live from Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Kyrie. Happy birthday, Kyrie. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, after catching most of tonight's football game, Running into fellow Argo fans that I haven't seen since before the season had started. Yo, check out who I saw at the Argos game. Ginger Argo! Argo! Visiting, as usual, my cousin Jonas at work. <laughs> and meeting one of my all-time favorite role models. This Argo legend who took time to sign my hat and take a quick picture with me. Argo's legend, hey, how you Michael doing? Pinball yeah, yeah. Clemens. All right, thank you so much. A quick picture, right. one, two, three. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I unfortunately had to leave the game a little bit early and once again, try to run with food in my hands, trying to catch the GO train at its station, because I had one last mission to run tonight. Recalling the last time I saw them, sending them off a couple weeks back at Pearson. Well, right now, we're going back to the airport tonight to welcome them back from their trip to the Philippines and pick up the in-laws. Welcome back! After welcoming Tito Chi and Tito Chan home from their flight at Pearson last night... One, two, three, welcome back! 
we were treated to some Toro Toro sushi back at the Saga house. Which honestly, with all these sushi pieces being torched, were some of the best takeout sushi that I have ever tried. As you guys can definitely tell by my reaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The white fish with the lemon. Anyways, on to today where I got just over four hours of sleep last night. I decided to surprise the wife while she slept in by taking the mini and driving earlier this morning. Going back to the condo in Scarborough. Putting together this care package to bring to her. And delivering it here to the Saga house in the midst of editing some videos today so that she didn't have to go back to Scarborough in between her night shifts. But yeah, afterwards going to the St. Catherine of Siena Parish in Saga for Sunday afternoon mass, I drove and dropped off the wife at the hospital for her night shift. I'm here walking around downtown just to kill time prior to going back to Scarborough for the night. But guys, before I do that, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I remember was one of the best pure shooters in the game of basketball. This birthday shout out goes out to you TJ. Happy birthday TJ. And we've also got a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who you guys know I've hung out several times with over the past year. This birthday shout out goes out to you Sydney. Happy birthday Sid. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After getting a little bit sidetracked, remembering that I had a free pizza slice coupon from the previous night's Argos game, I went to a downtown pizza pizza location to redeem my free pepperoni pizza slice before I headed to Scarborough to get a sleep of about seven hours. But on to today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends out there who I remember doing running races with and hanging out with during our times at Neo Wysick. This birthday shout out goes out to you Seppin. Happy birthday Seppin. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So yeah, on to this morning. Recalling this scene from a previous Laugh From Last Week episode, I went back to Scarborough's Snow City Cycle to pay for the parts for my baby Rouge. I went back there to Snow City Cycle to drop off the baby Rouge to get those expensive repairs finally done. And guys, well, speaking of expensive repairs, I just have some sad and shocking news to share with you guys. After catching some Olympics skateboarding action when I woke up earlier this morning, we got hit with a double whammy in terms of our vehicle troubles, as I got note that the Mini Cooper had gotten into an accident. So, rushing to take the TTC to get to the scene, I got off at Woodbine to literally run myself all the way from the TTC station to make sure that the wife was first and most importantly okay and saw in the background that the Mini was already hooked up, ready to go to the Damage Collision Center. But guys, unfortunately, before I get a little bit emotional with this story, We'll just have to resume the rest of this aforementioned story in next week's episode as I'll be trying my best to try to rest up before I go in for one single night shift later tonight. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching so far, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.